All right, guys, so uh, we're going to be doing a service on a E46 320D Torrent. i uh, got a full Bosch um, filters and everything, just because it's got no service history with it, so I thought I'd treat her a bit. So I'm going to start with putting the uh, rear wiper blade on. The front uh, blades haven't come yet, but put that back one on, then we'll go to put the air filter in. I'll just uh, show you how to do it, just in case I haven't done it before, or a bit of thing. They're pretty simple, you just give them a yank, like that, yeah. And uh, you just push it back into that little clip there. So pretty straightforward, really. There we go, just like that. Nice and secure in. Happy days. All right, so we're gonna do the air filter next. Um, because we've got to take the cabin filler off and everything, so we'll do that like last, probably. Um, but, yeah, so basically you just got these little clips here that you just pull up, and they come out. Um, just same with them ones there. Just get, like, the pliers in them or something. And then we need a 5 mil hex. Oh, yeah, we just pull that air filler bit out. There we go, nice and simple. And then you got four bolts on here, five mil hex, untighten all them. Um, and then, yeah. I'm gonna buy you a tool. <laughs> all right, so we're taking all them out. Um, then you just want to push that little clip out. Mine wasn't even seated, but yeah. And then just pull it out like that. There you go. And then just want to unclip these and then just pull this out. And take this cam filler out. I don't need that anyways from changing it. And then you got your Torx back of it. There's four of them. Sorry, like 30 or something. Exactly 30. Yep, T30 Torx on the back, get them far out. So we'll quickly do that. Right, there we go. Untightened all them. Just pull all these out. There we go. And just unclip that. Next you got these, I think that's five mil again, hex. Just get this bolt out here. And pull that off. Right, and then there's that one there. So you got one, two, three left to get out. And then you gotta fight with it to get it off. Right, so we've uh, untightened all them, so they're right. So there we go, we'll just get this off. And uh, there's my lovely, lovely air filter. Jesus, that hasn't been changed in a while. Pull that out. Fucking hell, that's over. Jesus. Right, so I've just uh, cleaned all that out, so that's spot on now. Uh, put the new filter in now. You can just see like that's clearly not been changed in a long time. Yeah, basically, just shove this in here. Does it have a preference on there, Grant? Does it go like that, probably? So, pretty simple. Just that, the back there, that little tiny um, bit that sticks out, that should be the bottom. But yeah. There we go, that's all pushed in. And then uh, just put the cover back on. Actually, we'll clean that out quickly, but we'll put that back on. Right, 
right so we've just uh, put all that back together um i'm just going to quickly clean off this because it's disgusting and then we can put that back in get the cabin filter in um and then we'll start with uh draining the oil and then taking the oil filter out and doing all that so we'll just quickly sort that out and then we'll get on with putting the cabin filter in all right so we um i give that a little clean out and then we've attached that back up um i've got a carbon filter here uh, that should be white but it's like looks about the same as carbon filter so yeah it's pretty dirty okay on them okay so that's how you put it in then okay yeah i see oh nope. <laughs> yeah there we go there we go slot in the little locket and clips on the bottom oh yeah i'll give that a wash all right so put the uh, filter in now so just make sure you when you put, fit this in it goes above the little clips there so the water doesn't run in and then you just push down on these and twist and they should clip into the little plastics and if they don't like that it's because your little plastics are broken Right, so we've jacked the car up and everything. We've just done it, um, taken the, um, to empty the sump. So we've taken that off with a Phillips screwdriver. Now I just need to get that bolt and um, empty the oil out. All right, so I've took the uh, little tray off and loosened the bolt. It's a uh, 16 mil. So now we'll try and catch this oil, see how that goes. There we go. Let that drain out and then put this back on. Change the crush washer as well. There we go, nice new uh, crush washer. All right, so all the oil's um, drained out now, so I'm just gonna put that uh, bolt back in with new crush washer on, tighten it up, put the uh, cover back over, screw that in, and then uh, um, you can change the oil filter and add some oil to it. All right, so I'm just gonna take the oil filter off. Well, the oil filter housing. Um, I'll just go get something. To just put that there. Try and just drain that off so I don't get it everywhere. There we go, that'll do. <laughs> All right, so just give this a little clean. I'm gonna just tack off this old O-ring. The new one on. Make sure it's seated properly. Yep, new filter in. There we go. Happy days. All right, now I'll just um, put this in here. All right, so we've just changed the filter rubber. Just add some oil to it now. Just drip a bit everywhere. Apparently it takes like 5.1, 5.5, so I'm just gonna put five liters in. We've got a little bit more in the shed, so put all this in and then see what it, see what it says then. All right, so we've uh, changed the filter, filled it with oil. We need to put the cover back on, then we're gonna check the dipstick, see what the levels are saying. Uh, run it up, get it to warm, like warm temperature, then check the dipstick. Um, we need to put this cover back on quickly, check if it's leaking, put that cover back on, and then uh, we're good to go from there. So let's quickly put the cover on. All right, we've uh, put all the cover back on and everything, so it's good to go. Just gonna check the oil.
Yeah, so I just need to run the engine and we should be good to go. So we'll check that in a sec. Alright, so I'll just let the uh, Beamer sit for 10 minutes to get up to temperature. Now I cut it, uh, knocked it off, waited about a couple of minutes and then pulled the dipstick out and it's right in the middle. So that's spot on. Uh, need to just get under there, close the cap and screw it down. Um, just check there's no leaks and then screw that back in. Uh, I've just emptied the old oil into that container, take that to the recycle centre. Um, and I've got the wheels off at the moment because I need to go get some new tyres for them because they're very illegal. So, yeah, need to sort them out. So it's just going to stay on jack stands for a bit. So I'll sort that out later. But, um, yeah, that's all that's sorted now. So we're going to move on to the fuel filter. Um, I'll try record a bit. You got the fuel filter just so I can show. Pretty straightforward, one that side, one that side, so hopefully that's nice and easy, but we'll see. Uh, I think it's on this side, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty much just under here somewhere. I'll have a look in a minute and uh, I'll get some footage of doing that. But yeah, that's uh, all, the, all that service done now, so change the cabin, the oil and the air filter. So yeah, should run a lot better now. Right, so I'm on the passenger side of the vehicle at the front, and there's your fuel filler. Uh, I'm just gonna take this tray off. There's three bolts there, they're eight mils. One there, and one there. Took them two off. So we'll take these off, we'll get this tray off. All right, so I've took that tray off, and you'll be met with that connector, that's the pump, and there's the fuel filler there. It's got one coming in the back and one in the front. So, I'm just going to take out that uh, screw there and do the same on the other side, the little hose clamps. Take the filter out and then put it back in. I'm not going to be able to record it though because it's a bit tight under here, but basically just all you do, untighten that. Got a little tray to catch some fuel if it comes out. Do the same on the other side and I'm good to go. Alright, so I've changed the uh, fuel filter over to that nice Bosch one. The old one's in there. Uh, just going to put that cover back on, three little bolts on there, eight mils, two on that side. And then uh, be good to go, so I'll quickly do that. Um, couldn't really record anything because it's pretty tight under here. But yeah, it's pretty straightforward, just literally unscrew them little hose clamps, either sides, one either side. Take the old one out, put the new one in, screw them back on. So yeah, nice and easy. Alright, there we go guys. Um, that's the fuel filter all changed. We just um, turned the key, let it prime a little bit, and then waited like 30 seconds and then started it. Started right up straight away, so not an issue there. Um, oil level's spot on. I do like to just like go on a little drive and then come back and then test it again, just to make sure, make sure it's all level and everything. I know it's in the air, but this drive's slow, so it is actually pretty much level. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, Taking them ties to the shop to get changed, so I'm just leaving it like this, but that's it sorted, all serviced and done. Um, hope you found this helpful and that, and uh, thanks for watching. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me.